So I hope you guys had an amazing April Fool's Day yesterday. I don't really celebrate it, but I hope you guys did in some way. But today I actually have some official news on the next actual Like a Dragon game. Yes, RGG Studios just confirmed that on April Fool's Day and it's a real thing. Let's talk all about that for today's video. So sit back, relax, enjoy, take a beverage and let's get on with this news. So normally on April Fool's Day when something about gaming news comes out or leaks or rumors, you never really tend to believe it. But RGG is kind of a strange beast. They also did like the announcement for the very first turn-based like dragon game on a April Fool's Day. And guess what? It was real. And now today they already did this again with a new announcement towards a new like dragon game. It's though a small announcement by any means. Gamatsu has a article on it. We'll talk all about that for today's video about all those details. Now if you have a comment of your own, it can be about anything. It can be about Yakuza or like a dragon or anything else. Let me know in the comment section down below and I might feature your comment in the next video. Like a Dragon, new title, cast, auditions announced. Publisher Saga and developer Ryu Gagotoku Studio will hold cast auditions for the next Like a Dragon title. Series director Masayoshi Yokoyama announced on the latest episode of RGG Studio TV. According to Yokoyama, the new title is not Yakuza Kiwami 3, but I'm just going to say, I think we'll do a Kiwami 3 at some point. I think we'll do it definitely sooner or later. That is actually very interesting uh, because my chat and I were speculating in the previous video that I did. Uh, I was already talking about a mis mystery, basically like a dragon game. We don't know though if that mystery game is this one. Maybe it's actually an entirely different game, but at least for this announcement, it's not supposed to be Kiwami 3. We were basically speculating back in that uh, other video about maybe it's a Judgment 3 or a Kiwami 3, but no, at least this one is not Kiwami 3, but at least they are thinking about doing a Kiwami 3 in the future. So all the fans for Kiwi Kazuma, that guy is still not done yet. We are going to see more Kiwi in the future when it comes apparently to these remakes. So that is pretty cool. The auditions for the new title will be similar to the live action hostess auditions for Like a Dragon Gaiden, Yokoyama said. Details will be announced in the near future. What is this game going to be? We know it's a Like a Dragon game, so we can, I guess, uh, put off judgment at least for this one. Maybe that other game I was talking about in the other video, maybe it's this one, but it might also be a different one. But at least this one is supposed to be a Like a Dragon game. It's already not Kiwami 3. I'm thinking it's a sequel for Infinite Wealth, at the actual, shall I say, Like a Dragon 9. Uh, the thing is, they are just going to do auditions. So this game is not anywhere close. I think like this is going to take still a few years until we will see the release of this game at least. Maybe we will get some sort of a teaser trailer. Uh, this year, this game, uh, no chance. And maybe even not next year as well. Uh, it looks to me that the development of this game is just starting if they are now going to do the cast auditions. Don't expect this like a dragon game at least anytime soon, I think. Now, to be fair, they have just released like, what, two games in one year last year and also like a Dragon Infinite 12 this year. So they are fine. They don't need to do any new game for the rest of this year. They deserve a break, in my opinion. They can take a little bit of a break. They've uh, released so many games now and very good ones at that. So I quickly want to go back to that video that I made. And in that interview that they were doing, they did say another big announcement so i have a suspicion that this like a dragon game that news that we have here is not the same game as i was talking about three months ago it could be the case but this isn't really a big announcement 
it's not like a whole reveal trailer and uh, maybe an interview with it like they usually did with reveals for the new game so i am still under the suspicion that maybe we are actually getting a new game this year that is different from uh, like a dragon and maybe it is in fact judgment 3 or maybe then a new ip of some sort it, it can be the same game but how they were got basically talking about it in that interview they were talking about a big announcement stay tuned for rgg in 2024 that's literally that shall i say quote from that interview so it is just kind of weird maybe there is in fact still a mystery game that we aren't aware of and it's separate of this news that i have today is it maybe judgment 3 we do know that there is this big dispute between uh, the actor that plays the main protagonist his management and rgg and maybe that dispute has been finally solved we don't know that yet i do think they will solve it at some point because those games are very good and they give a lot of fame towards that actor so it would be kind of stupid of that management to not continue with the judgment games my chat uh, in my last video was also speculating it could be maybe a prequel towards uh, judgment that could also be the case or maybe it's a kansan remake that is also possible so there are multiple possibilities of it's being a different game than the new next like a dragon we shall see if it is the same game though that he was talking about in the interview it's kind of a little bit disappointing because this isn't really a big announcement but we shall see we know they have multiple teams so maybe they are in fact making another game that we aren't aware of yet of course, if I have any more news towards that, I will update you guys as soon as I can. Let's quickly do a comment of the day. This comment is coming from my Resident Evil video uh, from Darth Nilius, a very well-known subscriber of my channel. If it's anything like bloated Ubisoft open world formula, no thanks. I absolutely get that, Darth Nilius. Uh, I wouldn't really want to see that as well in a open world Resident Evil game. But I'm going to be honest, I don't think Capcom would really do that with a Resident Evil game. I don't think it really fits to have this, so I'll say, Ubisoft style open world. Uh, what I mean with that is, of course, the bloated map, map markers and towers that you have to unlock. If they are going to do a open world approach for Resident Evil, I think it's going to be more of a bigger shall i say version of village uh, resident evil village resident evil 8 and then maybe have a whole town maybe explorable in a smaller open world that's what i hope at least it is uh, but yeah it could be maybe totally different from what i'm saying right now if you have a good comment of your own let me know in the comment section down below and I might feature your comment in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like this video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more gaming leaks, news, rumors towards the biggest single player games. It can be about PlayStation, Xbox, uh, Nintendo. I cover every platform. And of course, I am also working on my Final Fantasy VII Rebirth review that is in fact coming soon. I will probably need around 4 or 5 days to make it. I will have to write the script and then another day for filming, actual filming, maybe two days and then two days also for editing probably. So it's going to be probably a week that I need for that video, but I will try to make it as fast as I can. I also have, of course, a lot of real life stuff to do, uh, but that is coming. I finished the game. Uh, I love it. I will make a whole big review for that. So keep a look out for that and in the meantime i will try to make more rumor videos to fill it up for you guys thank you guys for watching um and i will see you guys in the next get Rack gaming news video bye bye